In the next 10 to 15 years, uh, if necessary steps are not taken today, we will be facing much more larger scale of, scale of uh, problem and more importantly, maybe too late for us to then start the work uh, to mitigate those particular problems that we have. And hence, this particular water conclave. And uh, this water policy actually is a holistic approach to everything from drinking water, to the reservoirs, to catchment area protection, to the spring rejuvenation, to overall proper management of water, so on and so forth. And this particular water policy is in fact what has been driving us and guiding us uh, to address many issues when it comes to, to water related issues. That we have 6,800 plus villages in our state and today we have a water committee in every village. And therefore whenever the water issues are coming up, we ensure that these committees take up this issue, work with the state government, work with the district and the block officials, work with the departments and then come up with a holistic approach uh, so that it's sustainable also in nature at the grassroots level. And that has been, as I said, one of the more important uh, decisions that the state government took. And today, as I said, we have a very, very, uh, you know, a very effective water policy that has been implemented at the grassroots level. We have a huge issue, madam, with uh, our rivers. And as you are aware, the uh, Umshirpi and the Wamukra are uh, definitely one of the you know, streams and rivers that need special attention. And I'm happy to uh, share with you that we have been uh, in constant touch with your, uh, with your ministry to find solutions to this. I have personally taken up the matter with uh, our Honorable Minister and he has assured us of full support. Uh, and he has asked us to relook into the entire proposal which we are doing as we speak and hopefully in about a couple of months time we should be going back to you uh, to ask you to support us in uh, rejuvenating some of the uh, more critical rivers and streams in uh, Shillong city as well as in other parts of the state. Uh, as you know most of the water connections in the city uh, have been there for the last 20 years, 30 years, even as long as 40, 45 years. And hence, the entire network, the pipes, the entire infrastructure uh, needs to be revamped uh, completely. And hence, uh, a huge financial burden, of course, will be there. Uh, and we know that we cannot do it in one go, but it is a very, very important issue. We also have issues uh, because of multiple other factors in terms of our different activities related with uh, mining and other economic activities which we are aware of and hence we are working in a manner where we can have a balance between the economic livelihood of the people as well as the sustainability of the environment and of the streams and the rivers and striking this balance sometimes is one of the most difficult things that any government and economy has to do as livelihood is also important but obviously our streams, waters and our forest also is, is equally important. Uh, and therefore with these challenges in mind, with these issues that we have, uh, we are moving forward. We realize that uh, we cannot change everything in a day. Uh, everything is a process. But uh, what I'd like to share with all of you is that Meghalaya has really taken this very seriously and uh, many, many things have happened in the past. Many more things need to be done in the future. And hence, this conclave is of great importance to us and to the region so that we can collaborate our efforts together, we can synergize our efforts together so that we're able to achieve uh, a larger goal and larger outcome 